threatening to beat T1RQ on the feeler. Uh, we're running the Whiting's dry cleaning service over the 2165. The mobile has got to the back straight starting position. Yes, Grant, we're about to go. Race 7 of 11 at Wagga Wagga. Looking for the green twinkling light. The arms fold back and the light twinkles now. The feeler began well from the middle of the row and I think Drew, it's going to have a little dibble for the lead. Down near the inside was Bonnie Bobby Shafto, but the feeler's got sufficient pace and will cross Bonnie Bobby Shafto. Now T1 Aku got away quickly off the second line and B Hartley's going to have an early forward foray and a little joust for the lead. I don't know that Drew will hand up to him. They're being followed further away then by Concertina. Next on the inside of those then, when they get going and run into the lane was Famous Brew. It was being followed by Resounding. Gets a tracking spot three back on the outside in sixth position early. Further back to Night Smile being followed on the inside by Keys to the Village and then well back in the field. Second to last was Norm's Courage and the Queen's Portrait was last of all. 40.6 is a more than respectable lead time and the time is set by the feeler. He'll be hard to beat this horse by the Inter-Dominion winner, Mr Feelgood. The feeler led by six metres after they've gone through the first circuit. Tiwanaku was obliged to work in the week in the cheap seat and will race without smother, you'd think, for the entirety. They're being followed by Bonnie Bobby Shafto with young Miranda McLaughlin looking for a first race win and giving this one a nice run leaders back. In behind those horses, you've got Famous Brew uh, and Concertina on the outside of it. They're being followed three back on the outside by Resounding, who's either favourite or second favourite. Uh, seventh on the inside, Keys to the Village, as they worked off the back the first quarter, 31 and 3. Now third to last is Night Smile from the Queen's Portrait, and Norm's Courage whipped them in. The bell was chiming across the course, and they made play to the judge with 8.50 to travel, and Ross Stewart looks across at the semaphore on the feeler. The first split, 31 and 3. The second split goes up in 30.8. They've run 62 and 4 as they make their play towards the bottom corner. T1 Arco on the outside of the feeler. The feeler led by 3. T1 Arco second. Bonnie Bobby Shafto third. They're being followed by Concertina and in behind those horses Famous Brew. Resounding is yet to be uncoiled from its position and further back as the wick was wound. There goes Resounding. Uh, further back as the wick was wound was Keys to the Village and it was being followed by Night Smile. He let go on resounding as Tiwanaku took the top but resounding was a big big threat they're being followed by the feeler who's gone I reckon it's going to be resounding who goes to Tiwanaku and the two favoured runners start to up the ante resounding's doing better resounding raced clear of Tiwanaku they're only at the top of the lane but this is home resounding is clear halfway down the running Tiwanaku is trying hard night smiles coming late but a resounding win will be taken by resounding Resounding wins. Resounding wins by seven metres. T1 Aku runs second. Photo third. Either Bonnie Bobby Shafto or Night Smile. The feeler between them. And then further back, Keys to the Village with famous Brew Concertina Norm's Courage. And the Queen's Portrait is back near the tail of the field.